The last regular season matches of the NISA Team Racing Challenge took place at Tusk this week. Our first look is MIT and Dartmouth. MIT in the green boats, Dartmouth in the red. MIT's Eamon Glacklin going to spin around here on the right hand side of the screen. Wasn't going to make the boat end of the starting line. Uh, he's being followed now by the Dartmouth boat and Eamon is going to come out of this uh, with a pretty good control over the Dartmouth boat for the start of the race. Glacken and Leppert will round the top two marks in first and second for MIT respectfully. But coming down on the third leg of the course, no one pays attention to John Renahan on the left hand side of the screen as you see this dark patch of water means there's more wind in that area of the course and it's going to act like a turbo boost button on a video game and launch him all the way up from fifth to first place. MIT still not in a bad position here. They're going to round that last mark in 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, which is a winning combination. But on the beat to windward, Andrew Sommer maybe takes a bad tack here right in the coverage of his own teammate, creating two competing passbacks on either side of the course. Dartmouth going to do a better job with theirs. Uh, and Eamon Glacklin can't get back onto the other side of the course to make any kind of play before Dartmouth clinches this up. They're going to win 10 to 11. Dartmouth will join Roger Williams in the playoffs. The Hawks defeated Harvard earlier in the day. In the National Division, it is Boston College, Yale, and Tufts all tied for first place. So we will have a three-way sail off between the teams. Only two can make it to the playoffs. Tuning in now to a very exciting pre-start battle between Tufts and Yale. Tufts in the gold boats, Yale in the blue. This all happening right in front of the Tufts boathouse. Uh, all six boats converging right into one position now. And watch out, it looks like it's Graham Landry having to avoid Will Hagar of Tufts. Will Hagar in both 13 caught there on a port side attack. Uh, he's going to have to do a 360 to absolve himself of the penalty. Let's take another look at that foul. A starboard tack boat has right of way over a port tack boat, but as you see here, boat 13 does not get out of three's way. After taking his penalty turn, Will Hagar in boat 13 doesn't look like he's going to make it to the start. Let's listen in. Yale gets off to a great start and they continue that success all the way through the third leg of the course where Sager Bloom rounds in first, Coleman in second, and Landy almost losing control there, Greg gains it and he's going to round that leeward mark in third place. Yale will continue up the fourth leg of the course and finish in a 1-2-4 combination for the 7-14 victory. Tufts needs a victory to stay alive, but BC gets out to a 1-2 combination and they do a great job balancing both sides of the course, neutralize any threat of Tufts getting back into this race. BC wins by a score of 9-12. The only thing left to determine is who gets the number one seed in the playoffs for the national division. And it is again BC walking away with a 1-2 combination. And it will be BC taking on Roger Williams in the semifinals and Dartmouth facing Yale. This all happens at the NISA Team Racing Championships on April 28th.